Over the ages, philosophers, scientists, and healers have all considered the same enormous question. Is it possible to actually turn back the clock and reverse the aging process? Our own Dr. Deepak Chopra has been considering that same issue. In a recent visit, he explained that our power to resist aging is not so much physical, but lies in our mind and spirit. Change your perception of aging. And uh, how do you change your perception of aging? By resetting your biological set point for aging um, psychologically. So if, let's say, you're 65, you say, but psychologically, I'm 50. Okay, so you say every day to yourself, and you say it many times if you want, you know, before breakfast, lunch, dinner, and before your morning meditation and evening meditation, say to yourself, every day in every way, I'm increasing my physical and mental capacity. My psychological age is 45, and I'm resetting my psychological set point to 45, and I look and feel a healthy 45. And just by doing that, you're resetting your expectations and everything. You know, when I go to the gym, I reset uh, my biological set point to psychologically to much younger age. And then I actually, when I use the treadmill or anything else, I set it to my psychological age, not my chronological age. That's the first thing you do. The second thing that you change is your perception of your body. Because most people think of their body as, uh, oh, you know, molecules, flesh and bones. Your body is um, also an electromagnetic field. It's a body of light. So close your eyes and visualize your body as an electromagnetic field. So we're beings of light that's circulating in a cosmos of light. And uh, everything that happens in our body is a result of the electromagnetic fluctuations of photons. So visualize your body on a daily basis as an electromagnetic field. Close your eyes and just feel it a bubbling cauldron of light with lots of energy and vitality. And the third thing you change is um, your uh, biological clock. Uh, because if you have a speeded up biological clock, then time will run out for you. If you're relaxed, then time will slow down. And if you get in touch with your soul in meditation, time will stop. And what it means to age is I'm going to have the wisdom of experience and the biology of youth.